Okay, now before we get into the five basic steps to pitching, we're going to start with the setup. Now at the setup, you can see that I'm set up at an angle. My toes are pointing at about a 40 degree angle from center. Okay, we'll get into that a little later. My hands are going to be, and the glove are going to be resting slightly under my chin. My elbows are down and relaxed, and I'm ready to get a signal. Okay, now we start the basic five with the step back. The step back is a small momentum shift to the back. You can see that my back foot isn't going any farther past than my right foot is. Okay, now on the step back, you want to make sure to keep the nose over the toes. The second step is going to be the plant foot. The key element to the plant foot here is that as I rotate and I plant my foot against the rubber, that my instep, if you draw a straight line from the instep, it should point all the way to your target. Don't Leaving your foot open or closed too much can throw your body off of alignment when it comes to lifting your leg. Now from here, I'm going to go into the leg lift. Now on the leg lift, all I want to do is, I don't want to swing my ankle around, okay? What I want to do is I want to be able to turn my hips and then lift my knee straight up. You don't want to kick your ankle but just lift your knee straight up towards your chest in a nice relaxed position, okay? Now balance point here is key. You're gonna be balancing as your momentum is carrying you forward. It's called dynamic motion. What you wanna do is you wanna establish where your balance point is and how your head stays over your back leg to establish that balance point because you're gonna need that balance to drive you all the way through your motion eventually. Now from the uh, leg lift and the balance point, you're gonna bring your hip out. You're gonna start with your hip you're going to get your separation just like your load and go drill and you're going to land at your power position. You can see in my power position my hips and my shoulder are still focused on my target. My arm is up and out with the ball pointed more towards the shortstop in a relaxed position. You see I'm not behind my head, I'm not pinching my scapula. I'm just nice and relaxed out in front and then from here is releasing the extension and the follow through and just like the load and go drill and the train in the track, I want to be able to take this train, put it right on the track, release and follow through. And those are the five basic steps to the pitching motion.